in, in the past hour, the surviving suspect, Djokovic Sanayev, has been charged with using a weapon of mass destruction in last week's Boston bombing. And we're joined now from New York by Alan Dershowitz, a renowned lawyer whose celebrity clients have included boxer Mike Tyson, Klaus von Bülow and O.J. Simpson. Um, Alan Dershowitz, can we just look at the decision to try this in a uh, federal court? He's going to be uh, charged, apparently, with the federal offence. Um, oh, I'm now being told, actually, that, that that information has changed, even while we've been on air. Um, would you expect him to be tried in a federal court or in a court in Massachusetts? Uh, both. Uh, he'll be tried in the federal court for the bombing at the Boston Marathon and probably tried in the state court for the murder of the MIT policeman. Uh, the second of those acts probably doesn't constitute an act of terrorism within the federal statute, and it does not carry the death penalty because Massachusetts, like Great Britain, has abolished the death penalty, whereas the federal government maintains the death penalty for terrorist murders, of which he is accused. But can he get a fa fair trial in Massachusetts? This has been an enormous... When you think about an entire city in lockdown mode, it doesn't sound as if you could get a jury of people who didn't feel pretty passionately about this thing from the population of Boston, for example. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. And if I were his lawyer, I'd immediately move, move to transfer the case to uh, Springfield or some other city maybe a few hours away from Boston. In Boston, people cheered out loud when he was caught. Uh, many people know people who were hurt. Uh, almost everybody was affected. Uh, by the closure of the city. So I think it would be very hard to get a fair trial in the city of Boston itself and the surrounding areas. But if you move the trial 100 miles outside, he'll get as fair a trial as you can get when you've been charged with committing an atrocious crime of this kind. But, of course, uh, it, it could mean that if you uh, do move it out of Boston, what's to stop it being moved out of state altogether? Uh, and then, of course, you raise the possibility that he would, of course, face the death penalty if he was moved to a number of different neighboring states. Mm -hmm. No, you can't try a case in a state different from the one where the crime was committed. So it would not be possible to try him in New York or in Connecticut. He must be tried within the geographic boundaries of the state of Massachusetts, whether it be in a federal court or a state court. So the trial will definitely be held in the state of Massachusetts. Are you surprised to find that he's not being treated as an enemy combatant? Oh, no, not at all. The Obama administration has made it clear from the very beginning that uh, they would not try American citizens as uh, enemy combatants. It would have been a foolish effort. The Supreme Court would not have permitted it. This is uh, not the perfect case for enemy combatant status. It's an American citizen committing a crime on American soil against primarily Americans. This case will be tried and should be tried in the civilian courts, and it'll be tried both in the federal court and the state court. Having said that, it probably won't be tried at all. Probably there'll be a plea bargain. Uh, I suspect there are two possible outcomes to this case. Either he'll try to save his life by pleading and exchanging information he may have for his own life, or he will boast of the fact that he did it, want to die, and provide a kind of jihadist, extremist Islamic defense saying what I did was the right thing. But it won't be a conventional whodunit trial. In which case, in a word, uh, the death penalty people would might, in certain circumstances, be exactly what he seeks. Exactly. And it could backfire. If he gets the death penalty because he wants it, and uh, he holds himself up as a martyr and as a model for other uh, jihadist extremists, it could backfire. Um, and I would hope that the federal government would be sensible enough not to seek the death penalty. He is, after all, 19 years old. He was probably influenced by his brother. The crime itself is beyond horrendous. But uh, I think you're playing into the hands of the mentality that produces this kind of disrespect for life when you take his life. He, I think everybody would be better off if he were sentenced to an obscure prison to spend the rest of his life uh, in miserable conditions and miserable federal prisons reflecting on what he did uh, rather than uh, ending it quickly with a martyrdom-type execution. Alan Dershowitz in New York. Thank you very much.